example, uh, if you have an aldehyde, most common one is potassium permanganate. Very strong oxidizing agent. Um, probably why it's the most common one. And uh, potassium permanganate is uh, it's purple. It's pretty unstable. And the uh, manganese has a uh, oxidation state of plus seven. And then when it gets um, reduced, it's going to take electrons from the um, aldehyde. It's going to go down to plus four. So strong oxidizing agents gets reduced. And uh, this also produces a color change. This guy's purple, this guy's brown which allows you to uh, easily detect when the oxidation is going on. And uh, the, the color behind transition metals is uh, pretty interesting stuff. Um, also explains why you find uh, certain metals in fireworks to make all those nice colors, but that, that'll be another video. Let's uh, stick to the topic. If you oxidize this um, aldehyde, what you're going to get is a um, carboxylic acid. So aldehydes get oxidized by potassium permanganate KMnO4 to produce carboxylic acid. And um, you could also use K2Cr207 potassium dichromate. Same thing. So these are two oxidizing agents. This one isn't as strong. Probably why it's less common. But similarly, chromium is going to have a plus six charge or oxidation state, and then it's going to be reduced to plus three. And uh, that's going to go from an orange to a green color so that you can clearly see uh, oxidation going on. Again, oxidizing agents get reduced. It's going from plus six to plus three, it's st stealing electrons, right? Aldehyde can um, also be oxidized by Tollens reagent. And the Tollens reagent is gonna be silver compound silver attached to ammonia and um, it will have a plus one charge on it and that's going to produce the same thing although this will be carried out in a basic environment, so it's going to lose a proton, but you'll still get this uh, carboxylate group. And one of the side products is going to be pure silver metal, which uh, again is a great indicator because when you conduct this in the lab, what you're going to get is kind of like a silver uh, mirror color surrounding the inside of the test tube. So Tollens reagent is a great test for aldehyde. And again, it's uh, through an oxidation reaction. Ketones, which involve uh, two carbons surrounding this carbon oxygen double bond are not easily oxidized really only under extreme conditions
And the reason is because of this. Now there's a carbon carbon bond that has to be broken, which uh, is uh, usually pretty stable. So that's going to be pretty difficult to do. Okay. Not like what we had over here, where if it's a. Uh, if it were a aldehyde, it would just be a carbon hydrogen bond. But since the ketone has a carbon uh, carbon bond, not easily broken, so it's not easily oxidized. And uh, obviously on either side of the carbonyl group, right? So, if you were to do it, one way would be to treat it with the strong oxidizing agent under basic conditions and then add acid. And what you would get is something like this. Break down into uh, two carboxylic acids on each side plus CO.